you know, you talk about how you, this is part memoir, but it's also deeply reported. Let's talk about the, the, the memoir piece. Why, why did you go about the book this way, weaving your, your story, your personal story, with the stories of these women you, you highlight? Because I do believe it was time for me to claim my space as a Black woman in pop music. I've been covering pop music, hip-hop music, pop music, R&B music for almost 30 years now, starting out in the alternative news weeklies of the, the Bay Area, California's Bay Area, all the way up to the New York Times Magazine, to ESPN, to where you see me sitting right now. Uh, Editor-in-chief of Vibe twice in its most iconic era, edit, first Black editor of Billboard. And I began to say, am I really claiming that part of my story? And if I'm going to claim that part of my story, then I need to claim also the part of the, the story that got me to those places, which was mm -hmm. my childhood growing up in Northern California and Southern California. It was a very tumultuous uh, childhood for me, and it was time to talk about that as well. And not to just draw too fine a point to it, but when I was doing all the research about all these different Black women in pop, our lives mirrored mm. this, this thing of ambition, this thing of not allowing one's light to shine as, as brightly as it could, this thing of just sort of struggling to remind oneself that we should stand in the front. Um, I saw a lot of mirror images in some of the most famous women in the world. 